Whoa, look at that run. It ran. Did you see that? I hope you saw that. Let me do it again. Whoa, like that. Let me back the camera up and see if you did get that. Okay, so we're going to try it again. Maybe this should be bent down a little bit because we do want the water to go down, but I pulled it up and away from that. So, oh, I forgot to wipe it off. Okay. So here we go. No drips. Ta-da! Do that again. I gotta pour some back in there. This stuff stains the cabinet. Okay, here we go. No drips. And see, if there had been drips, you would have seen it on the, I mean, because the water is colored with the Kool Aid. So, it is for this one. We'll just use this one if it needs it. Well, I don't know. I think this one is, this one just has one little, little drop of water. Let me put some, as you, you might be able to see that. I don't know. It's got one little bitty drop right on the end there. This is a teapot that I made, and so it's, it behaves a little better. This is a manufactured teapot. So let me put this in here. I think I've got all my little things mixed up, messed up, out of place because I made a video and I moved them all. Okay, now that one just has a little drop on the end of this. It doesn't have a drop going down the... So there's one before, before and after. I'm not sure you can see this one as well because the teapot is dark. Let me put that down so I can use my hand. It's usually because this edge is so, so round that the T doesn't know where it's supposed to stop. Um, this one is, if I can tilt this without pouring that stuff out. It's just water. We'll pour that out. This teapot spout is very flat on this edge and this that's coming to a point that's one thing that makes this teapot better just on its own uh, before you put one of these in than some of these commercial ones now, once you put one of these in there, then you've got no drips. Let me put some. We'll try that one here in a minute. So, let's turn it around. So, I'm going to pour and then stop. And there's no, there, oh, sorry. There's, there's no drips on the on that so the little the it, it this one probably could get by without a spring in it but it helps to have one so and it, it's kind of cool people ask you if you're serving tea they ask you what it is and why you have it on there <laughs> okay I'm gonna fill this pot whoops this pot wipe it off okay <clears throat> Ooh, that grape Kool-Aid is really putting a mark on the cabinet. Okay, oops, we're going to do this without first, without the strip. So here it is without the strip, and you got a little drip right on the end, right? The more you pour it, the more you're probably going to, you're eventually going to, that's not too bad, really. 
but I don't have very much stuff in there. Okay, so. Oh. All right, so. Okay, so we checked it out. Well, let me wipe it off. I can't remember which ones I've wiped off and which ones I haven't. But this one has kind of a, a rounded little end on it. But it's not bad as far as as far as they go. Let's see. I moved I rebent this one to fit in another one, so I don't know. It's still got one on the end. Let's try that. Okay, let's try that. There we go. So we, let me look underneath there. No, so there, I bent it back in a, a good shape. And the only place you have a drop is right on the end of this piece of aluminum. So there isn't a drop that's on here to run down. Okay, so I'm going to edit this video real quick. It's going to be a quick one and put it, uh, put it online with the others tomorrow when I when I put them when I get them posted so thanks for watching everybody